What's going on guys? I know it's been a little while since I've made a video and I apologize for that. I think it's been just about a week since I put out the last one. Um, school has been crazy and I just had my final, last final a couple hours ago. Um, so that is done. Fourth year university has been completed. I still have two more classes to do starting in September um, before I graduate. So I'm almost there, um, but I have the whole summer. I got an internship and I'm going to be making videos for you guys. So it's going to be a super good summer um, and we're going to have a lot of fun. So for today's video, I want to cover uh, this cool airplane window transition um, that I was fooling around in Final Cut and figured that this would be sort of a good type of shot to make a cool transition with. So I'm going to cover that today and teach you guys how to do it. Um, you're going to need an uh, airplane shot just like this and what's going to help is if the window is completely blown out. So this shot was done on my GoPro Hero 3 Plus um, and probably most cameras given that the light difference even if it is really bright um, the window is going to be completely blown out but that's actually what we want and we're going to take advantage of that to make a cool transition with. The other thing that you're going to need for this to work is the Chungda Smooth Zoom preset. So you want to use these ones versus any other Smooth Zoom because this one isn't like a drag and drop preset um, in your transitions folder. This goes into your effects folder and it's actually a whole bunch of keyframed um, zooms and blurs um, but this is going to allow us to unalter so that it won't affect the layer underneath it when we go to make those transitions so you can still see the whole clip that's below it. This is fairly similar to my eye mask transition. Um, so if you guys have seen that, it's going to be a similar effect. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that one yet, go check it out. Um, and we're going to do a similar thing here, but with completely different shots. So first thing we want to do is drag this clip to the top um, in our second timeline and then leaving this shot, um, which is going to be a drone shot from KoPP Thailand um, beneath it. So for this shot, as you can see, there's a little bit of white in the window on the right in this top corner here. So what I actually want to do is I want to crop in to remove that because when we use our Luma here, um, that is going to get taken out as well. And then it's just going to make for not the cleanest edit. So I'm going to go into our crop tool, hit crop, drag in from the bottom because um, my head's already pretty close to the top so I don't want to take too much off of that. And then I'm just going to go till the uh, window is out of the shot and just like a little bit more just to that point. So that is done like so. That's going to crop in um, and that looks really good as well. This also helps to center um, the window more in the center of the frame. So next step is go over to our keying in our effects tab and then hit our luma here and we can drag that onto our clip. So as you can see the effect right now isn't exactly what we want it to do. So I'm going to drag this all the way back to that side so that we have um, our whole clip just like normal. And then we're going to drag our first keyframe um, depending on where you want the transition to start. I'm going to start it exactly where this clip starts to come in underneath it. So I'm going to hit a keyframe right there and then I'm going to jump about 10 frames um, just by hitting shift and right arrow and that's 10 frames and then I'm just going to go 20 frames for this just so that you guys can see what it looks like. So I'm going to hit the keyframe button again and then for this we we'll just drag it ever so slightly to the right on our top little white marker and then drag the bottom one to or to the left just a little bit as well and just like that. So that looks pretty clean as far as the keying goes. Um, there's nothing that shouldn't or that was taken out um, so that looks really good. So that's rendered out already. I'm just going to make sure that 
on that keyframe. That is taken out. And then now we can change the map tools um, and just sort of edit it to whatever shot we are looking for. So if we erode the edge a little bit, that can clean it up and shrink and expand depending on the shot just to get a super clean line in that sort of window frame. So now the second part of this is to apply the smooth zoom preset from Chunda. So after you guys have downloaded that, again, this will be in your effects folder. Um, it's not going to be in your transitions. So for our Chunda's smooth zoom here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a cut exactly the length of the zoom that I want. So for this, let's just give it 20 frames again. Um, so I'm going to hit from the end, shift, left arrow, left arrow. Command B to cut that. And for this, it's going to be the smooth zoom out, out. Or it's going to be the smooth zoom in, out, sorry. And then we can drag that on there just like so. So that's going to apply um, a zoom blur to it as well as take care of all the keyframing transitions. Just keep in mind, if you want to change the length of this, you're going to have to redo your blade and then reapply um, the smooth zoom transition to it. So now that this is done, we can take a peek. So as you can see, that might be a little bit fast or a little bit slow. So if we want, we can undo that. Hit undo a couple times until we get our cut back. So we've undone that cut, and then I'm just going to hit to left arrow and then cut this up just there. And then again, we're applying the smooth zoom in out preset to there. And then you can see that comes out. So what's cool about this is because we have this sort of matte overlay over top of it, you can apply any sort of effects you want to the clip underneath. So as you saw in my little intro clip, I had a glitch transition, and then that moved into um, a different clip. So you can do that multiple times, which would be really cool as sort of like an intro um, or right before a drop. Um, this effect will work really well. So that's today's effect, guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, and let me know if you guys use it in your videos, and I'll definitely check them out. Thank you guys for all the support. I'm going to have a whole bunch more videos coming this week. So enjoy and look forward to those. Take care, guys. Can hold you down